Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching a 2020 psychological horror film called The Night House. Beth has just lost her husband Owen to suicide. Devastated, she spends her night drinking and going through Owen's belongings. She tries to see she tries to seem stable and in control, but her friend Claire and her neighbor Mel are concerned about her. Owen's ominous suicide note. You were right. There is nothing. Nothing is after you. You are safe now. Perplexes her. She begins to suffer from strange supernatural events at night and finds a strange reverse floor plan of their house. One night, she discovers a photo on his phone of a woman who looks similar to her, and Owen, and suspects Owen is having an affair, was having an affair with her, on on with someone else. After a night out with Claire, a drunken bath reveals that she died for four minutes in a car accident years ago, and saw there was nothing. When she died, Owen always disagreed with this and was close to changing her mind before he died. Beth says that when she suffered from depression a year ago, Owen began sleepwalking, and she thought she'd pass her negative emotions to him. That night, she is awakened by a supernatural presence and witnesses several frightened women fleeing through the woods. She finds blood on the boat, where Owen shot himself and feels an invincible presence. Crossing the lake to investigate the strange set of lights, she discovers a reversed copy of her and Owen's house, and sees ghostly features of woman with Owen. She passes out and awakens in her own house. She looks for the reverse house again and finds it, although this time it is unfinished and empty. She retrieves a strange statue from it and confronts Mel, who claims he never saw the house but once saw Owen in the woods at night with a woman who looked like Beth. Searching Owen's laptop, she found finds more photo of the woman who looked similar to her identifies the statue from one of his books as an adult voodoo doll and determines that Owen was trying to learn how to trick and trap demonic entities. Beth finds the book store where Owen bought the books from and encounters Madeline, one of the women from Owen's photos, who denies sleeping with him. Beth visits Claire, who asks her to spend a few days away from the house. She agrees and pack, heads home to pack, where she threatens the ghost in the house. Madeline arrives and tells Beth how Owen invited her to the reverse house. When Owen kissed her, he attempted to choke her, but apologized after she panicked and drove her back home. A drunken bath visits the reverse house and under the floorboards finds the bodies of the woman Owen photographed. The invincible force carries her bath and she hugs it, mistaking it for Owen's spirit. The spirit reveals that it is not Owen and shows her visions of Owen attacking and murdering the woman. The entity drags her through the house, reveals that it was what Beth saw when she died, and identifies itself as nothing. It explains that it tried to convince Owen to kill Beth, to bring her back to it, but he resisted. He built the reverse house and murdered the Beth lookalikes to try to trick nothing. But nothing realized the trick. 
It drags Beth in a position like a statue she had retrieved from the house. In the morning, Claire arrives to see and sees evidence of a fight in the house. The staring the Dan Owen used to till himself is gone. She rushed out to the dock with Mel, where they find Beth floating out in a boat with the Dan. In nothing's to mention, the demons tries to convince Beth to join it and kill herself. But Beth decides to put the gun down and not kill herself. As soon as she moves the gun away from herself, Beth returns to the real world, where Claire is swimming towards the boat to save her. Once ashore, Beth sees the outline of the demon in the boat, and when Mel tells her, there is nothing there, she replies, I know. Oh.